We mentioned that another method of passing data from a view to a controller is by making an AJAX call from the view to the controller. To make such a call, you need to use jQuery, which is a JavaScript library, and jQuery is included by default in an ASP.NET MVC project. So, let us open Visual Studio and verify it. In here, you need to go to the Solution Explorer and then go to Shared Layout.C Sharp HTML. Scroll down in here. And here you're going to see that you have a reference to lib folder, jQuery, and then jQuery.min.js. Now that we can see that jQuery is already included, let us go to the login.csharp HTML and then here at the bottom, we are going to create a script tag. And inside this script tag, we're going to write some JavaScript code using jQuery to make the Ajax call. For that, the first thing that I'll do is that I'll create a function. I'm just going to name this function function login. And in here, I'm going to first get the data from the form. So I'll have a var, let's say email address is equal to, I'm going to use the dollar sign, which is, or which indicates that this is going to be a jQuery code. And then I'm going to use the ID of the first input, which is the email address. And in here, the hash sign and then email address. And then dot value method to get the value of the input. Then var password is equal to the dollar sign. And then password dot value. Now that we have the values, we're going to use Ajax to make the request. So for that, dollar sign and then dot ajax inside here we are going to define all the properties of this request the first one is going to be the url so where do we want to send this request and for that you can use at url dot action so we want to make this request to this action which is login submitted And this action is in the authentication controller. So let me use single quotes outside and then double quotes inside here. Let's change this double quotes. And then we need to define the type. The type is going to be a post. The data type is going to be JSON. And then the data that we want to pass needs to match the view model, which is the first one is email address and the second one is the password. So email address is going to have the value email address that we get from the form and password property will have the password value from the form. And then if it is a success, we want to call a function, which does contain the response. And then in here, you can just, you want to just console.log. This is not important because I just want to put a breakpoint in the action. And then whenever I trigger this function, I want to see if I have the value in that action or not. So this is going to be just Let's say login successful. And in case we have an error, then we're going to have function. And then in here, XHR status and the error. And then you just console.log login failed. Now to call this function, what I'll do is that I'll first remove the button submit from here. Well, I'll just comment it out. So I'll just copy it first, put it outside the form. So I'm sure that the button or the click of this button doesn't trigger the form. Control KC. And then in here, I'm going to add the onClick event. 
And whenever I click this button, I want to call the login method. And to make sure, you can just remove the type submit and save the changes. Now I'll just go to the authentication controller. I'm just going to put the breakpoint back. I'm going to run the project. And then in here, I'll just go to login. Use one, two, three, four is the password and click the login button. And you can see that now the request was triggered by an Ajax call. And on the login VM, we have the email address and the password.